Hey everyone, before we get into today's video, we have a new donation link. It's down in the description. If you're so inclined, we very much appreciate it. And with that being said, let's get to today's video. What's up guys? Welcome to our first booster box opening of Rivals of Ixalan, the brand new set from Magic. Uh, very excited to see this set. I think um, there are a lot of fantastic cards in this. Really though, the flavor is what makes it for me. Um, I think overall this set will be a fun draft set. I think it'll be a fun to play with and things like that, but I don't think it's going to be like super incredible. Does that make sense? We'll see. Um, hopefully I'm wrong though because I do want to see a more interesting standard and I think, um, which we'll talk about throughout this video, the ban that just happened may mix things up a bit. So let's get right into it though. Hopefully we get some really cool pulls. I really like the flip lands in this set. Uh, we're not going to talk too much about commons or anything like that. Um, they're not too exciting. And we'll very briefly go through uncommons. Our first rare, Silent Gravestone. I'm actually really happy to see this card. Uh, oh, and the City's Blessing token. Um, I really like this card. This is perfect for graveyard hate uh, outside of standard and potentially in standard. We also did get a foil planes. Um, but I really, really like that card. I think it's fantastic. Um, a one-cost artifact that shuts off graveyards is perfect. So, uh, this is an interesting reprint also, because it was an original Ixalan. Riverwise Augur is a great card as well. Second rare, uh, Jade Light Ranger. I think this card is good. Uh, I think it's actually pretty good in draft also. That's interesting. Magic Pixel art for uh, Minecraft. That's interesting. Um, <laughs> so, what rares are we looking for? Well, any of the primal uh, legendary dinosaurs would be awesome. I really like the blue one, although uh, this card's actually pretty good too. Um, I don't think it's very good. Champion of Dusk is our next rare. Um, I really like the blue one though, I just think it's a really sweet card. It's the perfect control card, uh, albeit a bit too expensive, uh, but it's a good finisher. This negate art, by the way, is absolutely fantastic. I love that. Uh, who's that by, actually? Uh, Magali Villeneuve, I might be incorrectly pronouncing that. I most likely am. Um, Atsukan Seer again, and our rare, here we go. This is one of the cards I was hoping to pull, Alenda the Dusk Rose. Uh, there's a lot of sort of hype around her because she is fantastic, she's great. Um, they used her, I believe, in the Command Zone podcast. They did a Commander deck with her, which gets a little awkward with her, um, ability because she kind of has to go to the graveyard, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it just makes it a little awkward. Uh, flip card. All right. Our first of the flip lands, this is Storm the Vault. This is the one that turns into Talarian Academy, uh, which I really like Talarian Academy, so I'm happy to see that. Um, it, this is not my favorite of that land cycle. I particularly enjoy the green-black land, and I don't remember the name of it, uh, but it's actually really, really fantastic. I think it's uh, basically reanimate that you can repeat, which I think is awesome. Uh, our next rare, Dire Fleet Daredevil. This is great in draft. It's not a bomb necessarily, but it's a really, really efficient, uh, just red creature spell, which is fantastic. Um, I think what's difficult with these standard sets, though, is they're just not all that exciting for me anymore. Like, this card is great, I think, and I think Merfolk will definitely come back. Oh, here we go. Primal Tide. Uh, this is why I really like this card. It can't be countered. You have no maximum hand size. Anytime an opponent casts a non-creature spell, you get to draw a card, which basically means if they try and remove it, they have to let you draw a card. And then you always have the option to discard three and basically uh, bounce it, or excuse me, blink it, not bounce it. Um, so you can essentially just bring it back uh, if they try and kill it. Probably once or twice max, because uh, obviously you have to discard three cards to make that happen, but I do think it's a powerful ability. Our next rare, wow, uh, the Primal Storm. This is another really, really good one. Uh, a bomb rare for sure. And limited foil card there, Thrashing Brontodon. Um, the flavor in this set really is what makes it for me, though. 
Like, I don't think the cards are all that exciting. Uh, a few of them are, but really it's just the art and the lore. Wow. Okay, we got two of the Primal Tide. <laughs> Almost back to back, that's interesting. Um, Primal Calamity is awesome. He is super sweet. Uh, they did use him in the Command Zone podcast for the last game nights, and it was awesome. He is super, super good. Dead Man's Chest. It's our next rare. Let's see. Blood of Recollection is an interesting card as well. I think it could be interesting. Uh, Dire Fleet Poisoner, this is one of my favorite cards from the set, and I know Will agrees with that. It's basically like a removal spell on a stick, because it has Flash and Death Touch, and it's a 2-2. Two -two. But it also can give another pirate death touch, which means it's it could be like a bonus removal spell, if that makes sense. Um, could be really, really good. This is like the best uncommon in the set, by the way. Uh, this is, I think, not a very good card. Um, I don't particularly like that. I think it's a decent mana sink late game in draft or something like that, maybe, but it's just not very exciting. Blazing Hope is an interesting card, I think. Uh, Tilanali Summoner, this is a card that Will really likes because it enables um, the Ascend and City's Blessing stuff very quickly, which is super good. Uh, Pirate's Pillage as our foil. So we only have one Mythic so far. Hopefully we get a couple more. I don't know, I guess four or five is probably the norm. Uh, Sphinx's Decree, I really hate that card. <laughs> I think it's just a bad silence. Um, and I don't actually think... I, Will and I kind of argued a little bit about it, that um, it may have its uses as like a oh crap button in a game, but I still think it's good. It's really not, I don't think. Path of Discovery, I think, is an interesting card. Uh, it basically gives Explore to all of your creatures. And so if it already has Explore... You explore again, um, and so it's just a value engine, which is awesome. For four mana, I think it's pretty good. For Splendid Griffin, it's pretty cool. Uh, Tender Shoot Dryad. I like this card, but it seems a little bit weird to me in this set. Um, it feels a lot like uh, an old school Deranged Hermit or something like that, which I love Deranged Hermit. Deranged Hermit's great. Slaughter the Strong. This card is great, I think. Uh, it's essentially like a board wipe, but um, they sort of get to choose, I guess, but it's so efficient that I think it's worth it, you know? Um, and if all they have is big stuff, then they don't get to keep any of it, which I think is really good. A lot of jungle creepers. Crafty Cut Purse. This card is awesome. You get two steel tokens. I love that. Um, I think that mixed with things like Notion Thief make just stealing your opponent's turns awesome. Like, you steal their draws, and then you steal their tokens if they go to make tokens. It just seems hilarious. Uh, the Vampire Lord, fantastic. Radiant Destiny, uh, sort of an anthem effect, which is good. Luminous Bonds, foil. So I'm interested to know what everybody else's favorite card from this set is, uh, if you have a favorite so far. Um, if you've drafted it and you've really enjoyed it, oh, hold up one second. We have a foil, Blood Sun. That's fantastic. Uh, that's one of the cards I really wanted, so I'm happy to get that. Uh, and then a Golden Guardian, which is less exciting. But man, foil Blood Sun, that's pretty sweet. Um, Blood Sun is a card that shuts off lands essentially, certain lands, but enables other lands. Like it shuts off fetch lands completely. So we are thinking we might see it in Modern, but it also, we have a World Shaper, by the way, uh, but it also enables a lot of older lands, um, and even some newer ones like Bounce Lands and things like that, those just now come into play and they count for two, which is awesome. Um, but I think it also enables a lot of old, like, Weatherlight lands, uh, which are really, really insane. Uh, Seafloor Oracle, by the way. Um, so you can actually get some really, really cool value out of that, while also shutting off the opponent's stuff, which is kind of insane. Um, it makes for a really good hate-slash-enable card, which I think is cool. Uh, there we go. Tyrant of 
uh, Oraz Orozka. I can't pronounce these names, guys. I'm so sorry. But yeah, this is the legendary Merfolk, uh, our second mythic, if I'm not mistaken. Kind of light on mythics, but we did get full of blood suns, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, let's see. Release to the wind. This card is interesting. Um, we kind of labeled it as a trap card in our set review, just because uh, for new players, they might look at it and think, oh, well, I need to, you know, bounce my thing to protect it, or excuse me, bounce the opponent's thing uh, just to, like, get tempo plays, and certainly you can do that. But that's not really what it's for. Silverclad Frostons, by the way. Is that right? Um, what I think it's really good at is enabling your deck to work efficiently. So it protects a spell for me for you, uh, but it also can enable combos in a way that basically protects them really, really well, which I think is kind of interesting. Uh, Protean Raider. So as an example, we'll use a combo that most people know about, Kiki Jiki or... Uh, Splinter Twin with Deceiver X Arc and Pestermite. Um, say you have a Pestermite, but you don't have Splinter Twin or anything yet. You can just bounce the Pestermite with that, and then just play it whenever you get the Splinter Twin. Does that make sense? So, like, obviously this combo is banned, by the way, in Modern, but it's just as an example, like, you could very, very easily enable your combo, uh, which I think is really cool. Path of Metal. This is another one of these flip lands. This one is a little bit less exciting for me. Uh, I don't think it's all that good, really. Um, though I do think they all have their place, so I'm, I'm interested to see how those play out uh, in Constructed. <coughs> Let's see. Fauna's Hunger. I think that card's pretty sweet. Uh, it's a sack creature, basically, effect. It's an instant at three, which I think is great uh, in standard, but it can also, it has a little bit more upside. Well, there we go. It's a comma primal calamity. So this is probably the biggest, one of the biggest chase cards of the set. It's great in commander. Uh, I don't think, well, we might actually see it in standard. I think we could just because there's so many like, hey, we'll make this dinosaur cheaper, that sort of a thing. Um, so we might actually see it in standard, but it's honestly just a super, super powerful card. Another mythic, wow, the Immortal Sun. This card is really interesting to me because it does so much. Uh, I think it might be just sort of an auto-include in a lot of decks in, like, Commander. Um, outside of that, I think it maybe isn't the best, but it just does so much. I think it's awesome. Uh, let's see. Wayward Sword Tooth. This is a card that enables the green Calamity really, really well. Or, excuse me, the green uh, Dinosaur. Um, Primal Dinosaur. It's just so good. It's a 5-5 five, five for 3. You can play an additional land on each of your turns, and it can't attack uh, or block unless you have the City's Blessing, but you kind of don't care because it ramps you and it gets you closer to the, the green one. This card's amazing, by the way. Um, Temple Altasaur, a great card in uh, Limited. For Limited Dinos. Let's see. Riverwise Augur, another great card. Wow, this is this is an insane pack if you are opening this for limited. Uh, it just has so much for Merfolk, which this would probably definitely be the pick, I would say. But uh, Awakened Amalgram. And then we do have a foil, Voracious Vampire. Only two packs left, guys. So let's see if we can get something really awesome. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. Uh, you guys seem to really enjoy these box opening videos, so we may do one or two more of these at some point. Um, but if you really do want to see them, let me know in the comment section below. Profane Procession, another one of these flip lands. This one uh, basically exiles uh, a creature um, on the battlefield, which is really, really powerful, but it's a huge, huge uh, mana sink just because you have to pay five just to, like, potentially flip it it's it kind of is a lot um last rare deep root elite uh a very good merfolk card definitely uh definitely not the most exciting card though so very quickly let's look at to get some of these flip cards which is great i love that card uh, a couple mythics up here another flip land uh let's see 
What else was really exciting? Uh, that's a great card. A couple of these, another flip, and a Linda. So, overall, not a bad box, honestly. Um, I think the Foil Blood Sun is what really made it for me. But we did get a few of the Primal Dinosaurs, uh, which is great. A few of the Flip Lands, which I think they're also pretty good. I think there's still two more that we need. Uh, and then these two cards, which are awesome. And then, of course, our Mythics. We only got four, which is, I guess, kind of a little below average. But we did get Alinda, the Merfolk, the Immortal Sun, and Zakama, which is awesome. So, guys... I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Uh, if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We've got tons of content going up all the time, uh, at least four or five videos a week. So you can check all that stuff out and subscribe for notifications. But until the next video, guys, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.